In part one, the people of Charleville came out in force for the big weekend. 16 projects, both large and small, to give their town a new lease of life. The whole point of this campaign is that we need to regain a sense of pride in the communities in which we live. From bird boxes to a cheese shop, from chairs to gardens and a giant metal cow, they're running at full steam. Word had got out about the great things happening in Charleville. Artist Jim O'Farrell has come down from Limerick to capture the moment. Uh, I'm great. Jim oh, that's brilliant. That is Jim absolutely brilliant. Jim. That is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that's absolutely that's beautiful. Your man with the with the, with the ponytail. Oh, that, <laughs> that's Brian. Uh, it's fantastic. Thanks very much. It's Thank absolutely you. brilliant. Thank it's you. the first time anybody's ever painted him. Yeah, well, the I've wife got... puts a bit of makeup on him sometimes, <laughs> but uh, that's about it. Okay. Well done. Thanks very much. Sean's team have been working flat out all Saturday, but they still have no chairs to show for it. I think it's going great. I, I, you know, it's, it's always a worry when you're going to do something and because you're expecting people to really get stuck in and you're not paying them to do it and everything else. So when it happens, it's great, you know? And we didn't have a lot of tools. Some of the lads went off and borrowed tools off mates of theirs and brought their own when they got their own tools and stuff like that, you know? So, mighty. Main worries, I suppose, are always the usual ones, time, you know? The clock is always ticking, but, you know, we, we can't change it, no? They are getting somewhere. It's just that making the parts has taken priority over assembling the chairs. We were all up in a heap this morning, but we're kind of getting into a system now, so we all know what we're doing now, and we're getting them together, like. We haven't worked this out this in months. The team are swimming in parts and half-built chairs, but hopes remain high. We're kind of getting into a rhythm now between us, so um, I think we'll have a nice share of them tomorrow, like. You're killing us here. We're not killing you. You're killing us here, Sean. It's nice to the sunshine working. I know, I, it's a lot of work to do, it definitely is. But I think we're doing great. Look at they're coming together. They're appearing as no matter what we do. The place is all right. <laughs> what, what are you going to do? I had to pay, that's negotiable. <laughs> no, that is good. It's great to be involved in this with the, the community, you know. It's brilliant. Put something back into the town. No, we will not finish the first one yet. <laughs> Saturday is over, and only one and a half chairs have been finished. The team have just one day left to deliver the other 58 and a half. Daybreak on Sunday. Dermot leaves the chairs to tackle a problem area on the edge of town, a dreary office block. This is the Kerry Group area office and it's a dour building, it's a grey building. I want to soften its effect on the landscape, on the entrance of this town. I want to add some colour, I want to add plenty of planting to allow people maybe appreciate the environment more. The volunteers gather and this job isn't just for grown-ups. Today we plan to remove the gravel beds that we have at the end and at the front and uh, replace it with planting. It's generally just to make it a bit greener and less concretey and less suburban almost. And we're painting the walls here a lovely shade of aubergine, which we're just having mixed in the local uh, paint shop at the moment. The team gets stuck into removing the dirty gravel. Team's brilliant. There's 23 of us, I think, and we're mostly women and teenagers. We named ourselves the young ones because, as you can see, there's quite a lot of youngsters in our group. I'm getting to meet a lot of people that I haven't met in years. Everyone's very enthusiastic, so once we start, we won't stop. We'll just keep going. Next, the walls are painted, and people of all ages take up their brushes. It's great for the town. Do you know, it gives a bit of a boost to the place, and and positive thinking, I suppose, around it as well, which is very important in times like this. As colour spreads, new soil is brought in for the plants, hand-picked by Dermot himself. These are lovely. They're mountain ash, sorbus, joseph rock. They produce berries. If I have six, I'll be so happy. I do have six. 
morning what we've been doing is we've been planting the various beds around the place. We had to mix the earth, the compost and the manure all in together and I mean the kids are having a brilliant time planting stuff and for a lot of them it's their first opportunity to actually work with the earth and to actually put stuff in the ground. So they're having a great time. You get to know the people, you get to help like, make the community better really. Oh, I didn't know anyone here when we first started but now I know like everyone. <laughs> Back in the carpentry workshop, the work on the chairs has reached the tipping point. Oh, we're under major pressure. Our first lot of coffee this morning has gone cold. <laughs> no stop at all. We're really going hard now to try and get them out. What happened on Sunday was brilliant. The chairs began to roll off the production line. Not the whole 60, though, but they did well. The country's in a state of depression, but Nobody's in a state of depression here. They're all laughing and joking and enjoying what's going on. So this is what the country needs, I think. We're missing up all day after the beer. That's supposed to be for for a drink, actually. When 20 chairs have been assembled, the painting can start. I decided on a particular colour scheme because Charleville needed some cheering up. If you look around, there's too much grey and black and brown. We needed something bright and exciting. So I went for Caribbean colours. Sean, this is perfect. That is the perfect colour. Between that and white, we'll pick one other vibrant colour, but this is the nice Caribbean kind of tone that, that we want for the whole thing. It's brilliant to see them being at this stage, because of course we need the drying time too. When I left here yesterday, there were one and a half chairs completed. Now it's an assembly line. There's 20 ready to go. There's some being painted down below. We're getting there. As the chairs start to roll off the production line, something special is happening on the other side of town. I love what we're doing here today. When I arrived this morning, this was an arid bed. Concrete, grey concrete, and in there it was covered in pebble. But they've taken it all out, they've dug it, they've fertilised it, well-rotted farmyard manure in there. This is a building that's clad in a bronze colour. We've introduced some purple paint which goes well with it. These are just old-fashioned pink roses. We're going to create a wonderful bed of them right the way along in front of the building to bring some joy to those who work here. It's bringing back some colour and some soul. All in all, by this evening, this place will have changed totally. It's been a rewarding day's work. A lot of us here now today are saying, yeah, we want to get back involved in tidy towns. You know, it's been a lot of time over this weekend, you know, planting stuff, getting stuff looking well. And the last thing we want is, you know, for it not to be looked after, not to be maintained. So we're all going to get involved in the tidy towns, hopefully, after this. Today's gone brilliantly. We've actually finished now just the last little bits of paint. And we're done. We've planted with everything. We're brilliant. You know, we all spend weekends where, you know, the weekend goes by and you feel you've done nothing at the end of it, whereas this weekend, you know, you kind of felt that you're achieving something. Everybody was equal in our team, honestly, from the 10-year-olds to the 50-year-olds. Everybody was brilliant. Well, hopefully the Kerry workers, when they come into work on Monday morning, will be delighted and cheer up their day, if nothing else. The Dirty Old Hands campaign has been up and running for the last nine months, but the good work is never finished. Each weekend we challenge a new town to see what can be achieved in just a few hours. It's weekend challenge five and it's the school challenge. We're at the Navin Educate Together School and the challenge is to paint all the exterior walls in the space of 48 hours. Weekend challenge five starts now. It's time to get our hands dirty. <laughs> The Educate Together School in Navan has 135 pupils drawn from 22 different nationalities. It's the only Educate Together school in Meath. Well, it all started with me being on Facebook one morning, of course, and I saw this call out from Dirty Old Towns looking for a school. So we have children from all over Meath, from Kells, Kilmesson, Atboy, they all come over. It's multi-dominational, co-educational, um, and it's wonderful. The ethos of the school is, you know, uh, family involvement. So as much as possible, get the families involved in doing it. And a lot of them do seem to want to get involved. That's my son. He's a student of this school as well. And he's doing well. So we want to do more for this school. It's not like any other school. It's like a school and it doesn't matter what colour you are because we're all the same. And there's paint all over your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Navan Educate Together has been looking for a permanent building for six years and are on the waiting list. 
But who says they can't brighten up where they are now? It's an old SIP2 building. It was built in 1980, and a couple of parents came up with the great idea of just bringing the colours together and having it really bright for the kids. Yeah. This is the plan. This, this is, is the, the plan. master plan, which we can see some of it happening behind us. It's very good to see a school so colourful. Some people would say would make the kids a little hyper, but in actual fact, I think as a nation, we need to be a little more yeah. colourful. Are you happy with their Fantastic. progress? Brilliant, I think it's fantastic. I, I did have a little bit of a panic and go, how are we going to get all this done? But good training for the kids. It's good training, it, yes. It it's great. <laughs> to take care. And they're painting in the rain, which is brilliant, isn't it? Can't even mm -hmm. feel the rain. Well, at first, but it starts to pour and the work comes to a standstill. Luckily, the shower passes and the students go back outside. There was three women stayed out painting in the rain and everybody else went inside, including all the men, the big strong men. So no, but generally it hasn't dampened the spirits, no. Yeah, we have Eva, who's the principal of the school, and the Navin Educate Together School. And I have to say, it looks really fantastic. Here it is on a Sunday. Uh, you must be very proud of everything that's going on. I am yeah. absolutely delighted, just thrilled on behalf of, of all of the whole community, the whole school community. We, we're just, everybody who comes in can't believe yeah. the transformation that's occurred. It is amazing. Just between yesterday and today. It's I think it's amazing. The principal so actually paints herself. Look, there you go. <laughs> very important. Everybody got involved, didn't Yeah, they? everybody. <laughs> Hands on. Get yeah. in there. Yeah, that's us. I think it looks like a, a bright multicultural school, which it is, but now the colours reflect that, don't they, you know, so it's a, it's a rainbow school. Well, it's all exterior, you don't see the great work that goes on inside, but I think the outside reflects the brilliant place and the positive place it is to work and to learn as well. Yeah, there's a sense of just coming here, I mean, I'm sure a lot of these parents see each other every day coming to school with their children, and yet nobody knows their names, nobody knows anything about each other, so as well as getting work done, there's a sense of people just learning about each other and through that doing something positive as well for their school. So we're doing a little bit of this here, are we? Yeah, we're yeah. trying to save this place because they were just going to paint over it, like all of this. And, it, and there'll this be no like goals or not, so to get done. They all were all just going to paint over it in yeah. one colour. So all of the kids got together and we're trying to save it. So do you have a protest meeting? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really good at this. <laughs> and over here, you can The thing about this school is it's like a family. And I know that sounds cheesy, but it really, really is. Um, we're all, we've all become great friends. This school isn't just a school. It's a whole community. You know, we really are so lucky yeah, that everybody yeah. is hands in, get on there, get... If they, you know, if they see something that needs to be done, it's just done. We're yeah, so yeah. lucky in that respect. No, it really... And you're talking to the people and everything, and some of the moments make the best lasagna as well. It really <laughs> is good. Ah, I know. You should come to our tuck shop days. Oh, They're great. fantastic. I know. I'd love that. I'll bring 50p with me <laughs> and see what yeah, I can get. Yeah. In just 48 hours, and with the help of the children and their parents, the outside of the school does justice to the wonder going on inside. When it first opened, um, it was just white, and now that Dirty Old Towns has come, I think it's at its best. I think it looks fantastic. I had such a great time yesterday and today, so I'd say now more children would like to come to our school. Oh, we put in 110%. Uh, everybody here has. Um, our school has never worked as hard. No, and the whole um, year that we've been in school, never worked this hard. The mood has been a party mood, I have to say. The kids have been really, really good. They're proud of themselves, and rightly so, and they're delighted. It's the end of Weekend Challenge 5. We came down here to Navan on Saturday. The walls in the school are a little bit dull. They needed a touch-up, and what a spectacular job they've done. It's absolutely amazing. Well done to the kids, to the parents, and the teachers. This is what you can do when you put your mind to it. Right, tune in to 2FM tomorrow, and we'll find out what our final weekend challenge is. I'll talk to you then. Dirty Old Hands isn't a makeover show. It's a call to action, and you can be part of it. If you have something you think needs to be done in your town, or you have photos or footage of the work you've been doing, get in touch through our website, our social media campaign, or the Colm Hayes Show on RTE 2FM. Coming up in part three, with the success of the big weekend behind it, Charleville goes up another gear. They're going to repaint the entire Main Street.